able to add a tab. In the Sigma S 2D world, this is a pretty painful process where breaking geometry is required. So in the 3D environment, we've made it a simple process of clicking. You can apply lead-ins with rules or choose your own lead-ins. The other thing I want to focus on is the ability to edit and modify leads and transitions once they are already applied without having to clear the NC. For this process in the 2D world, you have to clear the NC, go to your tech table, find the place that your quarter loop or lead-in is coming from and make the change and reapply and hope that you got the right thing. And then here I'm just going to show you a countersink hole being cut with a single pass, no pierce in between the two passes. This is something that in the 2D software just was not possible. So now in the 3D platform, it's just a simple click of auto NC with a couple settings turned on and you'll get what you need. The last thing to touch on is ramping in 3D. Sigma S has always been pretty difficult to get ramping set up in a post. So we've set this up with the rule manager now. And you'll notice the different amount of nodes here. We have this set up so that we calculate the feed rate for particular areas and then we ramp down to that feed rate accordingly. So if you watch the feed rate here on the right, you'll notice that each contour or entity has a different feed rate based on the radius size or whether or not we come to a sharp corner. Going into this corner, we get down to around two inches per minute. And then into the sharp corner, we get down to one. But then on this larger radius, we are able to stay at the max feed rate. 